You're never too far gone, City of Bright. That message is so important. You know, when God has changed your life and you are willing to tell others, then others' lives can be changed as well. And I'm excited to introduce you to Tim Shadley. Hello, I'm Tim and I am a recovering addict. Um, I'd like to show some gratitude to my dear friend Ben Booty for uh, asking me to be a part of this. And I definitely need to show some gratitude to God for you know, giving, blessing me with the ability to be here. Um, so I, I believe that I suffer from a disease of addiction which causes me to deal with obsession and compulsion. And I was able to identify the fact that I used to act out on this uh, before I ever even picked up uh, through attention seeking. And uh, then, you know, when I was 12 years old, I picked up for the first time. And um, I ended up spending 22 years in active addiction. Uh, you know, I don't like to share a whole lot about, you know, my years in active addiction. I think that's carrying more of the mess than carrying the message. Um, but I but I do, you know, like to share about, there was, you know, like the last five years in active addiction, um, there was some, you know, pretty life altering events that happened to me that, you know, shaped me into the person that I am today. And um, <clears throat> see, uh, you know, about five years ago, I uh, was, was charged with uh, trafficking and possession of heroin and uh, shortly after that, um, my, one of my best friends and my co-defendant on that case, he ended up dying of a drug overdose. And um, then a couple years after that, uh, my, me and my ex-wife, uh, you know, she was pregnant and she went into premature labor and our, our daughter passed away, uh, you know, moments after birth. And, and that had, you know, had to do with, with our, our use. And um, then a couple years after that, I had a significant other who overdosed and died. Um, so, you know, those, those things really drove me to a point of despair. And then not long after that, I was already on probation for, you know, the trafficking case and was charged then with burglary and was looking at uh, doing a couple years in prison. And um, so, you know, after all of that, it wasn't even so much the prison bid that I was looking at. It was, it was more of the, 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 just the despair that it came from all the lives that were lost uh, from my using. And um, so when, when I was in the county jail, I, uh, I hit my knees and, and I gave it over to God uh, you know, I would like, I would also need to mention that, you know, those 22 years that I spent out there in active addiction, I spent as an atheist and, um, you know, I was able to give it all over to God in, in that, in that jail cell. And God then led me to, to 12 step recovery and 12 step recovery then taught, you know, a drug addicted atheist like me, how to build a relationship with God. And, um, you know, sometimes it's, it's hard for some people, you know, that, you know, came up like me to, to go to church and to reach out, you know, like that. So, um, 12 step recovery ended up being, uh, just, just such a life changing thing for me. Um, you know, there's, there's many methods of recovery. Uh, I just know what works for me. Um, you know, if, if, if you know anyone or if you are a person that is struggling uh, from addiction, please just reach out to someone. The help, the help is there. Reach out to God. God will guide you and, and, and fellowship with other people. There are many people that are recovering from addiction that, that are willing to give help. So if, if you're suffering, reach out. It's there. Thank you.